It's time for your reality break. We're helping women find their way over food and good conversation. Hello, everyone. I'm Jasmine Monroe, and this is Reality Break. I have along with me Danielle Wiggin, <laughs> Tiffany Tarpley, and today we're talking about the courage to chase your dream. And we don't want to forget Ohio native mm -hmm. Yvette Nicole Brown. She has graciously joined us today. Thank oh, you so much for being here. My pleasure, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm so excited. And Yvette, I mean, she's a busy, busy woman <laughs> and successful as well. Oh. I had to take my notes. You got notes? Oh, here. Yeah. I <laughs> okay, so you were in Community. I was. Drake and Josh. I was. And you recently made a cameo in Avengers, Avengers Endgame. Endgame. I did. And you didn't know about that. I, well, I knew I shot it. I just didn't know that I made it in. Like, sometimes you record stuff, you film stuff, and they cut you out. So that's a big movie. So I had no idea I made it in. I love it. Yeah. Cleveland, but you're here I because am. you also are now adding script writer to yes. your resume. Yes, I wrote a romantic comedy called Always a Bridesmaid, and I uh, executive produced it, and, and we're here for a film festival and to celebrate it. You know, oftentimes we're so comfortable where yeah. we are and in what we're doing. Yeah. In writing this, was it and presenting it? Yeah. Did people tell you no. You know, no one told me no because nobody knew I was writing it. Okay, <laughs> like I literally, I was I was working as an office temp 20 years ago, and um, I was I would write it in between, you know, working, and it was just something I was doing for me. I was writing the movie that I didn't see, that I wanted to see, and then uh, maybe 10 years later, my friend Nakia Brown, Indy Brown, who's also from Cleveland. Um, she um, has a production, a, a, a studio called Tridesta Studios that she'd been building for 20 years. And we went to brunch like this and asked if she asked if I had a, uh, any. Did I write? And I was like, Well, I got this one script. <laughs> She's like, Can I read it? She read it. She wanted to option it, and then here we are. So it's crazy. So no, there was not a lot of notes because I didn't send it anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some, sometimes I think like with your dreams, like I try to keep it a secret because yeah. I don't want anyone to knock it down. Right. right? Do you ever? Well, I think sometimes it's important to. I think of your, your dreams and the thing that you're building like a baby. You wouldn't give your baby to just anybody, yeah. right? Mm, that's but true. you would let some people babysit your baby. So the people that you trust, the people who you value, mm -hmm. then of course you share it with them. But no, it's, you won't give your baby to everybody. You just can't tell everybody what you're doing. You know what's crazy? Cardi B, it's weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I love her music. Mm -hmm. You know, she gets a bad rep, mm -hmm. so I don't know her personally. I her, but but lovely. I love her. she has been the person who showed me you can have it all. Mm -hmm. Because so many people when she was pregnant and she was just kicking off her career, you know, a lot of people told her she wasn't right. gonna be able to do it, but then you finally, you know, you but get But you do remember home. also that she couldn't do that Bruno Mars tour. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so you, it's, do, so you, you, you do have yeah. to sacrifice some yeah. things, and I think we yeah. do ourselves, uh, women, a disservice when we act as if mm -hmm. you can just pop out a kid and go on tour with Bruno Mars. No, you need to nest with your yeah. kid. <laughs> That's you need to let your body heal. It is definitely and she true. learned that. That is so yeah. true because I, Tiffany and I talk about this all the time. It's like our career paths have were switched. Yeah. And so I, you know, got married as soon as I got out of college. Mm -hmm. I had a baby, you know, yep. had a baby later. And so I spent my 20s building you look like that you're foundation. Right now. That's uh, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but I spent my 20s building that foundation with my husband. But when I got the job at where I'm at right now, it was. Well, you didn't do everything like Tiffany did, or you didn't do this, and so I faced the backlash of, well, you're gonna be too old soon, and, and you're backlash right. is a myth, you guys. Mm. It's a myth. That's a fear um, for women. It's too. a myth. Yeah. It's, it's um, I put my family in that oh, It's a oh, myth. I'm too old. No, it's a myth. It's a first of all, myth. first of all, <laughs> melanin. <laughs> <laughs> melanin, <laughs> melanin will, will redeems the time. You can, we'll be 80 looking like we're 45. Yeah. We'll be 45 looking like we're 12. So it's not an issue. It only becomes an issue when you allow it to. All that stuff coming in your mouth, eh. Mm -hmm. Hide them in that mess. Get it over there. It's yeah. not. It's not real. It's vapor. And that's true because then when I have been where I'm at now mm -hmm. for six years, and so when I first started, it was like, oh, I gotta hurry up and catch up to everybody else to who? who's been in the business for like. You're only racing years. yourself. So, yeah. The but only race is you doing, getting to your finish line. It ain't about who in the other lane. They need to be working on their lane. How did you like find you, your I, voice? I, I said I was she is so inspirational. Yeah, I'm like, I got it. We're over here. I'm trying to get you. I believe I'm the elder statesman at this table, so I have lived long enough to know that it's okay. We we spend so much of our times, our 20s, our 30s, just on this this hamster wheel running, and for what? There's no reason. Uh, you are going to have exactly the life that you're supposed to have. Exactly that life. It may not look like hers, it's not gonna look like hers, but it's what's made for you. Run your race. 
Because also the other myth is that there's not enough to go around and we're in competition. That's a lie yeah, too. Right. No. That's a lie too. I know you guys had Lonnie Love on. Um, Lonnie and I are friends back in LA. Um, me and Lonnie share information. So if we get an audition, if I get an audition, I'll call her and go, girl, they looking for us. <laughs> You better go home, yeah. John Smith, the casting office. This wow. is we share yeah. the Even for the same Yes, role? because if it's mine, it's mine. Yes. Sometimes yes. you find out about stuff to tell somebody. Yes. So if you hear about a gig and oh, you're not calling each other to tell each other, they might the call might have came to you so you can tell her. Yes. Why, why are you going to be stingy? And it has to go both ways, though. You know, Me and Lonnie call each other. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So share. You guys, you all know it's hard enough already to make it in this business. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Why would you not help your sister that's trying to climb the same mountain you climb? Climb together. Mm -hmm. Share information and climb together. So honestly, we want to we want to tell you know folks this is you know of course our YouTube channel Reality Break. Thank you so much for coming My on. My pleasure. Of course, there are people on Facebook who were talking about it through everything, mm -hmm. saying, "What do you do? How do you go about finding your courage? How do you go about finding my courage?" Your courage? Um, I'm the product of a single mom. Hey. Um, my dad was in my life, but grew up in the house with yeah. just my mom and my brother. Um, she's fierce and fabulous. Yes. Mama Fran is all of that. And so I had a living, breathing reminder every day of what I could be. Because the crazy thing is, she was excelling with worse circumstances than I had, tougher circumstances than I had. So if she could take care of us and build a life um, with two kids, I don't even have kids. Like, what can, well, I can do whatever I want. You know what I mean? So it's just remembering what's in us. And it's not even just my mom, our ancestors, all of our ancestors are strong. Call on the ancestors, hold on. Hold on to Harry Tubman if you got to. I hold on to Rosa Parks all the time. <laughs> you should be in Cleveland more spirit. often. Right. See, can we do this more yes. often? Yes, let's, let's do it. We had a great let's time. do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and I just want to tell people about Bridesmaid. We want to talk. Our yes, always a bridesmaid. Always a bridesmaid. We want to t tell people more about this yes. and how you came about doing this. Yes. I, like I said, I was an office temp. I, I wanted to write a film that I didn't see. I love romantic comedies, but I love PG-13 romantic comedies. Yeah. I don't need to see everybody naked and <laughs> flying around. I like two flawed people who meet and fall in love yeah. and try to figure out how to make it work. And we didn't have it. When I wrote this, we didn't have it. So I wrote the film that I wanted to see. And finally, yeah. people get to see it. So I'm really excited. What's next for Yvette? I'm in Lady and the Tramp. Disney did a reimagined oh, Lady and the Tramp. The suit, the, the, we got the noodles. Yeah, right? with the noodles. All we need is a big old meatball yeah. and, and a starry sky. <laughs> but yeah, so we're um, that's coming out November 12th on Disney Plus. So I play Aunt Sarah, the villain, in that. And then you know that and always a bridesmaid. That's enough for now. That's enough for now. So we're gonna start eating. But I just want to ask. Are you living your dream life? Are you living your dream? Would you say? You know what? I think I am. You know, more important than anything, I'm happy, and and I'm happy because I'm a good person. I think sometimes yes. we we check off uh, career accolades and you know relationship accolades. How's your heart? Mm. Are you decent? Are you good? Mm. You know. So I wake up. I go to bed every night with a clear conscience. I wake up with joy in my heart, and I love people. So I'm very successful because of that. How has it been being home too? Oh, I love home so much. <laughs> I tell people all the time, if they bring me in for something, I always get a rental car. I don't ever want, no one needs to drive me anywhere. I want to get in the car and ride around. I go and visit every house or apartment I lived in. I visit every school I went to. Um, I see friends and family, like it's, it's great. I'm so excited. Well, welcome back, and I know we want to eat. Thank we, you. We want to yes. send them away. It, 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 go ahead. Yeah, Michael's genuine. Yes. Michael's We're genuine. Right Thank you. you. Got this I, I, pastrami. One little bite. I didn't know Yvette was going to be schooling us. Well, really <laughs> luckily, I didn't start crying I, I, over oh, here. Oh, <laughs> your pizza. It's messy. all right. Messy. If you are interested in learning more about Reality Break, make sure you like and subscribe to WKYC Channel 3's Do it. YouTube page, and you'll find more of Reality Breaks. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys. Oh man. What'd you get? That looks good. They have mimosas? They have mimosas. You didn't order one. You gotta order one.